Competitive Hack Pokemon wants to ban the move Nuzzle. Hack Pokemon is played in a format called Balanced Hackmons where Pokemon can use any ability with any moves and maxed out EVs. But even amongst Hack Pokemon, certain Pokemon are better than others and in fact some Hack Pokemon abilities or moves are overpowered and have been banned. I've made a video about how pure Hackmons, Hackmons without bans is considered unplayable and even in 4 fun formats, bans are necessary to make the game fun and to stop overpowered strategies. One such strategy on the chopping block is Nuzzle, and there will be a vote to decide whether or not the move should be banned. Here's why. But first, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Most of you are not subscribed and it's free to do so and help the channel a lot. Nuzzle is a base 20 power move that always paralyzes. In regular play, the distribution of Nuzzle isn't too large, but obviously in hacked Pokemon, any Pokemon can have Nuzzle. Nuzzle is notably better than other moves like Glare because it can't be taunted and Magic Bounce won't work on it. This means it's far more difficult to actually stop. Paralysis has always been controversial in balanced Hackmons. Cramorant Gorging was even banned because the Gorging form causes Paralysis on getting attacked. But why is Paralysis especially controversial in balanced Hackmons? For one, there are no move pool restrictions. Any Pokemon can run a paralyzing move like Nuzzle and with how good Paralysis already is, it makes sense to use it wherever you can. Paralysis is so common and it's argued that Paralysis itself is uncompetitive because it causes a 25% chance not to move any turn. A lot of games can turn into just luck where the game's result depends on how lucky or unlucky you get. Nuzzle is the target of the ban because it too easily enables a strategy of just spamming Paralysis because of how low drawback it is. It's also very easy to fit on teams. There is no opportunity cost to using Nuzzle on a Pokemon and paralyzing something is almost always a good outcome. Because there is no reason to use anything else, games turn into a paralysis war and if you don't use Nuzzle on your team, it's almost like you're inherently at a disadvantage. A counter argument is that Nuzzle does have counterplay, like ground types like Zygarde Complete or Poison Heal Pokemon like Regigigas, or simply fitting Heal Bell on a team. Electric immunity abilities like Volt Absorb are not considered as counterplay because they are almost never worth using because of the opportunity cost of missing out on amazing abilities like Fur Coat, Ice Scales, or Regenerator. Another counter argument is that Nuzzle is a necessary evil. It's used to keep a lot of powerful sweepers in check. Inherently in hacked Pokemon, there will be a lot of powerful Pokemon with sweeping moves, like Simple Eternatus or Quiver Dance or Shelf Smash Pokemon. An easy way to spread paralysis helps keep those Pokemon in check and that is worth the annoyance of Para being common. Additionally, Nuzzle Para can help break stalemates. For example, a Hazard Setter with Nuzzle will statistically be likely to eventually keep Hazards up versus a Defogger. The Hazard Setter can set up a Hazard on a Paralyzed Defogger and then switch to something that beats the Defogger. If a Paralysis occurs then the Hazards are there to stay because the Defogger has to switch out. Over the course of many turns, this will eventually happen. So what do you think? Should Balanced Hackmons ban Nuzzle? In fact, you can vote yourself if you clear the latter requirements. The typical process to vote on Smogon is to have you clear a certain GXE score on the ladder as proof that you are knowledgeable enough, and once you do, you can vote on the bans. The Nuzzle laddering period is still going on and will end on June 25th. More details are in the description and let me know what you think down in the comments below. Also, check out my Nuzlocke of Pokemon Emerald without evolving, it's my best video yet. 